Well, that's right. The district attorney's office says it is seeking the death penalty both for the mother and the boyfriend involved in the death of 10-year-old Anthony Avalos. Prosecutors are alleging that the boy was severely tortured during the last five or six days of his life. Here you can see in court Heather Barron and Kareem Leva. They were both there this morning. The deputy district attorney, John Hatami, told the court that they're looking for the death penalty because they say there was extensive abuse. Prosecutors say Avalos was at times whipped with a belt and cords, and court documents reveal that Anthony's injuries stretched from his head to his toes, and there were bruises and abrasions and a traumatic brain injury. In court, the deputy DA said there's also evidence of Leva involved in violent conduct and threats while he's in jail, including an alleged assault against another inmate back in July. The family says the death penalty would be justice for Anthony. Today is especially hard for our family being here, but we're thankful that the DA and his team are working really hard for us. We appreciate everything they're doing in seeking justice for our little boy. The district attorney's decision today to seek the death penalty against the mom and the boyfriend sends a message to the, to, to the entire community in the state of California that if you want to abuse, torture, and kill helpless children, you will pay the ultimate price. And family members have also filed a $50 million wrongful death lawsuit against the Department of Children and Family Services. They say DCFS failed to protect Anthony when there were num a number of calls saying that there was abuse going on, and they say that DCFS ignored it. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.